Hello, uh, for my poetry analysis video, I decided to choose Elizabeth Acevedo on her poem titled Afro Latina. Uh, basically, this poem talks about this young lady who, uh, growing up as an African Latin uh, person, she she's very proud, you know, of her of her culture. But when she moves in to the U.S., uh, she has to change almost everything of her culture, of her customs and traditions in, in order for her to fit in. Um, she then realizes that, that you know, hey, I'm, this is not who I am. I don't come from, from this American uh, trend or whatever. And she, she talks about all these things where she comes from. But first, she starts by saying Afro-Latina, salsa swagger. And then she starts singing this song that says La Negra Tiene Tumbao. This song is by Celia Cruz, who is a Cuban and Latin American singer. She's very popular uh, in the salsa and merengue and all that um, Latin, Latin groove music. Um, so La Negra Tiene Tumbao translates to the black woman has tumbao. Tumbao can be swing, can be style, can be flair. So it translates to the black woman has rhythm. Um, she then talks about uh, she, that she's Afro-descendant. Um, she talks about how she learned her first language, which was Spanish, and she learns it by her parents uh, giving her the lullabies, you know. And then she talks about the shift that she had when she moved to the U.S. and she's uh, in in class, and everybody speaks English except for her. So she says, "My peers do not understand me." So in order for her to fit in, she started uh, she started rejecting, you know, changing her. Her customs. It says, so I rejected habichuela and mango, much preferring Happy Meals and Big Macs. You know, in the U.S., McDonald's is a very huge chain, very popular. So, habichuela is a uh, is beans. You know, it's another word for beans. I remember I have a friend who who told me that that habichuela was was another word for beans and mango. It's a Dominican traditional dish served for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's basically boiled bananas uh, mashed with butter, you know. Then she goes on saying, straighten my hair in imitation of a Barbie, you know. So this has to do with, you know, it's like an American, uh, you know, trend of, you know, young young girls wanting uh, Barbies and trying to look like them and all that. So, so she would straighten her hair to look like a Barbie, you know. And then she talks about um, how she was embarrassed. She, it says, I was embarrassed by my grandmother's colorful skirts and my mother's broke English. Um, so this shows that uh, she was embarrassed, you know, since since uh, the grandmother, you know, would come with all these traditions of the traditional, you know, outfits and and how she was embarrassed, you know, of, of seeing her grandmother and other, other kids looking at her. And, and it says about her mother spoke English, you know. And it says to lessen the humiliation, she would, uh, you know, like make fun of her mother's, uh, her mother's accent, you know. Um, she then says, how quickly we forget where we come from. So remind me that I come from. And then she starts uh, naming all these tribes, all these, uh, what do you call them? All these different types of uh, groups that... Uh, that were once, you know, like let's say, it says the Tainos of the Rio, the Aztec, the Mayan, Los Incas, Los Españoles Buscando Oro, which translated to English is the Spaniards searching for gold. And she talks all, all, all about uh, all these, all these tribes, you know, all these groups that, that, you know, they mix. And and then it says, I come from the children of slaves and slave masters and then I like this part where she says a beautifully tragic mixture and it's really really nice because she talks about a beautifully tragic mixture you know back in the day there was a lot of slavery going on there was a lot of, of that going on with Africans and and you know it was a, it was a, a tragedy you know it should have never happened it's it's something that that is very inhuman but you know the she's a product of that you know she's she comes from there and and she she calls it a beautifully tragic mixture and you know she goes on saying that you know that her 
she's a descendant of all that and and she talks about the sugar cane she talks about all these things that um that make her you know her where she comes from her her heritage and how proud she is of it and and that you know it's it's very very nice for her to show all those things and then she says black brown beautiful viviremos para siempre we will live forever and then she says afro latinos hasta la muerte which means that you know she's proud of being an african latino an afro latino and that that she'll be there till till the end <laughs>